it's okay to feel crap and this might not be a message you hear that often but it's something I think is important to share because within the self-help industry within the media today there is a lot of messages about positivity positive thinking and you know how we should feel gratitude how we should feel happy we've got a lot to be happy for and if you're watching this on a on a mobile device um, you know you're living probably in a first world country you've got enough money that you're you're operating on a, a mobile network with uh, unlimited broadband Wi-Fi connection and so yeah theoretically you should be skipping and jumping because a lot of people on the planet are starving true true fact and yet the reality is we know that we don't always feel that way and it can be uh, kind of a weird guilt dilemma when you don't feel good but you feel guilty about feeling that way because everything around you everybody around you is telling you you should be happy you should be grateful you should be okay um, that is the message that we're kind of bombarded with um, from well-meaning relatives from uh, from social media from self-help gurus and um, it's done with good intentions and you know of course of course being positive is I would say generally speaking a useful way of being in the world but that's not very helpful advice for somebody that isn't feeling great um, the truth is that feeling crap feeling depressed feeling stressed feeling angry feeling anxious feeling worried all these things are part of the human experience and it's okay to feel them okay it's normal it's you know good that you do have this full range of emotions because it means you can appreciate the uh, the full gamut of the experience of being a human being and you know if you're finding yourself stuck in them for months at a time then then that's perhaps something to uh, to look into and get help with but often the taboo around feeling them the resistance against feeling these emotions is what is proliferating them it is what is continuing them to uh, manifest in you and manifest in your life because what you resist persists and this is very true with emotions if you try and push something down if you try and deny it then it will just come knocking at the door louder and louder and um, I know this in my own life because I, I suffered from depression when I was uh, 23. I had tinnitus, which is a, a ringing in, in your ears or ringing in my ears. And <clears throat> it means that I never had any silence, not one second. It was just a continual like, which is a pretty annoying sound to have constantly going on in your head. Um, I was told I might go deaf by the doctor. I was told that I should never go out. Uh, to loud music venues again which at 23 was devastating because I loved music I loved going out I enjoyed clubbing I enjoyed socializing and I uh, you know I was a big music fan so being told this was was very upsetting for me and of course being told that I might go deaf that's that's not what anybody wants to hear pardon the pun um, I didn't go deaf and I, I do go out now I can go out to louder venues I wear earplugs but point being for for one year of my life I had tinnitus like very badly um, and I wasn't able to socialize I wasn't able to go out and I became really really depressed and a lot of uh, well-meaning people kind of told me oh you know at least you weren't in a car crash at least you can walk at least this didn't happen so you know you should feel grateful you should feel happy and it was done with good intention it was no way in any way shape or form a malicious thing but the the, the way I was interpreting it um, it was like saying that it's not okay to feel bad it's not okay to feel depressed it's not okay to um, feel down and that created resistance and guilt and basically all the kind of crap that you don't want because it just meant that stuff kept bubbling up and I would push it down and it kept bubbling up and if you make something a taboo 
you know, you shouldn't feel this way ever um, in any situation, then that's not realistic. And if you do then feel it, which, which in the case of my depression, I was feeling crap, I wasn't feeling happy, I wasn't feeling negative, and I wasn't feeling grateful particularly, um, then it adds another layer of stress on top of that. So what would have been good advice for myself um, if I could go back in time is to realize, look, it's okay, David. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel anxious. It's okay to be worried. These are part of the human experience and it's okay, you know? Doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Doesn't mean you're a bad person. Doesn't mean you're dysfunctional, okay? It's just a normal emotion. And if you can accept it and be okay with it, be comfortable feeling uncomfortable, that is where the real power lies. That is where you get the opportunity then to go beyond that and not, you know, wallow in the mire for, for months or years, to not stay stagnating in that emotion but to transcend it. At first though, you need to be willing to step into it, to feel it and feel it fully. And I'm going to give you a little tip, something that I found very helpful. And this is, number one, a willingness to feel whatever it is that you're feeling. doesn't mean you choose to feel it, doesn't mean you want to feel it, but be willing, be okay with feeling it. And this is kind of a frightening proposition because it means taking responsibility for your own emotions, not blaming other people, not blaming circumstances. Um, not like blaming what you think the world should be doing for you, but being willing to feel the emotion that you're feeling. The good news is it's an emotion. It's not going to kill you, okay? It might be scary, but it is, I promise you, a transient experience and one that you will be able to get through. Okay, emotions don't kill people, but the, the fear of them, the resistance to them, is what is actually keeping you stuck. So a willingness, a, a conscious decision. Okay, right now I'm feeling X. Am I willing to feel it? Am I okay with feeling it? Yeah, okay, I am. That is step one. Step two, feel it and feel it fully. And the way you do this is by coming back to your body, not the intellect, okay? because often in this case we just come up with intellectual ways to justify why we either feel this way or why we shouldn't feel this way or blah 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 it is um, you know unhelpful in this particular case so feel it and feel it in your body <sighs> breathe through it breathe into it meditate on it notice how it changes sensation how it changes temperature how it changes movement really look go into it and feel it that will allow it to pass okay so doing those things having an acceptance a willingness to feel it not a choice that you would love to feel it but a willingness to feel it that is the first decision that you you really need to make if you want to be okay with with feeling uh you know, uncomfortable or negative emotions. Step two is to feel into your body, feel through it, breathe into it. Don't go into the story, get into the physical physiology of how you're feeling. And this will allow you to much more rapidly get through these difficult patches to actually be comfortable being uncomfortable and that is really a superhuman power that you can have because once you're comfortable being uncomfortable then you don't have to be running away from things again um, so guys I hope this has been helpful and you know this isn't a criticism of anyone that's being really positive because I'm quite a positive person myself um, to realize and recognize that maybe the people that have been giving you that, oh, you know, you should feel this or you shouldn't 
feel that way or you should be grateful look they're not doing it to try and screw you up they're they're trying to help you so it's not about them blaming everybody else because oh my god like they've been victimizing me by telling me i shouldn't feel this way people do the best they can right they're, they're, they're trying to help they're trying to deal with their own kind of stuff so take the attention on taking responsibility yourself for your feelings and being okay with them don't make them into taboos doesn't mean you you, you don't have preferences of course you do but understand it's okay to feel the full gamut of human emotion that's perfectly normal there's nothing wrong with you and then through that acceptance through that willingness to feel that you can transcend it so guys i hope this has been useful and i'd love to hear how you get on with it um, please share this video and if you have any comments i will do my best to get back to you see you guys